Java, Inca, Inca, Inca. Brindle. They have fresh grazing I've just done for them. So they found that the sheep are a little bit nervous. They're like, whoa, galloping towards us. But there's a fence between them. You're bold. Come on, Java. Come on. tail. What are you doing? You're bold. You're so bold. <laughs> it's all going on here. What are you doing getting up on the table? <laughs> what do you want? Oh, look. There, you beat them all on my lap. What you doing? <laughs> oh, you're bold. You're totally bold. Everybody's so bold. We've been outside. I'm coming here to have a cup of coffee and a break. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Can I put the kettle on? <laughs> I got happy dogs. <laughs> okay, I want coffee. Get down. I've got to put the kettle on. Yeah, I'm putting the kettle on. And I've got to not step on the cat. There, now I'm going to make some coffee. Going down the laneway to go and look at the lambs. And I noticed some of the um, cocoons of the um, six spot. Had, oh, it's flown. There, it's just... Look, recently emerged. So there is one of my favorites. Such a beautiful moth. Literally, it is just finished drying off from its cocoon. So it's going to go off. There's lots of meadow browns in here as well at the moment. Flitting. Oh, that hurt. Can you let go? Please let go. Please let go. Please let go. You're... Ah, <laughs> oh, let go. Okay, we're gonna go for the walk amongst the lambs. So, my favorite moth, daytime moth is emerging, which is great fun. You're so clever with your stick. Are you coming, kitty? Are you coming? Kitty, kitty. You coming? We're waiting for you. Okay, you're taking your time. We're going. We're going. Aren't we, ladies and gents?
meandering in his own sweet time. Aren't you, Kitty? Why you take a step? These little mobs take off and they flit all about the place. As the dogs run about, they waft about in front of one. Look, an oxide daisy. So this field is definitely not overgrazed. Oxide daisies are growing. Aren't you a happy pup? She loves her stick. Yes, I know. It's tall grass walking. Very hard for tiny people. Come on. So some of the flock is down there lolling about. Taking it easy. The horses are all the way on the brow of the hill, swishing their tails just right there. They've had this square. You can see where the electric fence was before. So they got that added square earlier this morning that they galloped to. Yes, babies, I'm coming to walk around. Look at you. Okay, yes, we're going. We're going for a walk amongst the thistles and the nettles and the oxide daisies and the buttercup and the white clover, which has only recently been coming out. There's purple clover, but we've had purple clover out for a while. <clears throat> this is a really, really steep hill. It's also very shallow with the limestone underneath. Lots of lambs lying around the place, taking it easy, or scratching their ears. Inca surveying all she sees. Hey, Maya, how are you? You clever girl. <laughs> I don't know where Java is. Java's disappeared. Where's your brother? Java. Where you been? Where you been? Yeah. Where you been? You good boy. Everybody came. She's an old Leo, well used to the rompings and noises of the dogs. But the lamb near her stood up saying, I'm a little bit nervous. This is the oak tree. It is magnificent. A magnificent oak tree. Flock's all there. I've come in under this oak tree. Beautiful oak tree. It's a young'un. 
There's a few young ones here. A few young oak trees. There's one, two, three, four, five. By the way, oak trees can grow really close together. Look at that. There were two acorns. Actually, they weren't. This is an ash tree next to an oak tree. So that's the ash, that's the oak. They come in here to shelter from the rain. You can see the sheep haven't grazed in there for ages. A monoculture of ivy, nothing but ivy. This is a handy piece of firewood. I always like coming across bits of firewood like this because I take the chainsaw and I go chop, 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 chop. It's a pine or spruce. So here's a beech tree above us. So we have another oak tree, a beech tree, Another beech tree. Oh, more ash trees. Loads of trees. And not much under the understory. Is that right, dogs? Yeah. There's gonna come a storm when this sycamore is gonna come down. It leans way out into the field. Look at that. There's two stems off of it. But that one, someday I might have to repair my fence there. Unless I get a tree surgeon to lighten the load, chop it about there. You can see, again, the monoculture of ivy. Not much in there except ivy on the understory. No snowdrops, cow parsley, Solomon seal, all kinds of stuff. Not there. This tree is so big. So, so big. into lying down in the grass. Well, most of the flock of lambs is in this flock. There's a few scattered around. Boy, these thistles certainly have taken off this year. I'm going to have to come in with the mower at some stage just to get the grass to come back enough. I've winter grazed sheep on it two years in a row, which is why the thistles are so prolific and the nettles. So it'll have to have a break now for two or three years just so we get more herbs and grasses back rather than this incredible population of thistles. Hey kitty, I see you. How are you? You divided the flock. Very good, shepherd cat. Yeah. Yeah.
You clever boy. You want to jump up on my back? Hmm? Hmm? So no winter grazing in this field for a few years to decrease the thistle population. Let the grass grow long. Hey, sweetie, how are you? Oh, jeez. Yes, this just happened. <laughs> You are such a, ow, ow, don't, don't claw me. I don't have, oh, I've got thin summer shirts on. That hurts. He's got his claws into me. Ouch. Definitely have to let the grass grow long this winter, the next few years. It's very thistly. Horses are cavorting, or were. Looks like it's gonna rain again. It's going to rain again. Come on, Java. Atta boy, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> 